All right, so um, welcome to uh, chair based exercise class. I'm Bill Bannock, and uh, we'll be going through some movements in the chair, using the chair, and out of the chair. So uh, thanks for coming out today. So as we sit in our chair, make sure if you have space alongside, come to the front of your chair so that your thighs are freed up. Make sure your feet are parallel with each other and that the knees are over the heels and the shoulders are relaxed. And your head is up. So allow yourself to find a position of ease in the chair. And we'll close our eyes and watch things settle. Feet relax to the floor, hips relax to the chair. Face and jaw relax. Tuning into your breath. So if you could breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, that's great. And if you can't, that's fine too, however you need to breathe. But just relax into the breath. Let the breath be there for you and take it in. Always welcoming health and well-being on each breath. In your ability to be in the present moment with each breath. Allowing the body and the mind to reconnect again and again and again. Good, then we'll open our eyes and the first movement, keeping the neck long, will just be a slight nod with the chin. Good. And then we're going to take the right hand over to the left thigh, left hand on top. And we'll turn the head slowly from side to side. Stay in touch with your breath. And we'll come back to the center and release. And then we'll move the torso forward, inhaling, heart forward, exhaling, navel back. So bringing movement and breath to the front of the body and the back of the body. And then we'll come back upright. Yep. And then from here, we're going to take left hand, right thigh, right hand on top, relax the shoulders. And then again, a movement between left and right. And then we'll come back to the center and we'll replace the hands and legs. And then from there, we're going to do some uh, side movement with the head. Just going from one side to the other. So the actual incurring weight of the head to create the stretch.
And then release. And then we'll bring our arms by our sides. Give them a nice little shake out to make sure they're relaxed all the way to the hip. On the inhale, we'll sweep the bottom out, palms up so they come together if you can. And on the exhale, palms down, sweeping back to the side. So now you can follow breath into movement. And your body will start to regulate the breath. So if you need more, it'll take in more without having to stress and huff and puff. So slow, relaxed, controlled movement. And we'll interlace the fingers, we'll press them up on the exhale, release them on the inhale. Up on the exhale, release them on the inhale. Good. And then we'll bend the right elbow, take the left hand across, and just draw the elbow off as if you wanted to scratch the upper back with the right hand. Those arms relax. And then we'll do the same thing with the other one. Left, taking the elbow back, creating a stretch. And then we'll bring the hands to the outside of the arms if we want to pull up. Arms away, holding on with the hands, relaxing the shoulders. And then slowly release. And then we're going to roll the shoulders around. And then the other direction. Good, let's bring the hands once more up again. This time we'll interlace the fingers. We'll do our side stretching. So we're gonna stretch the palms out to the left, head to the right and come back to the center. Take the stretch on your exhale, come back to the center on the inhale. And then release back to the center. And then we'll take it to the other side. And then release. And then we'll bring the hands forward, stop this as if you're taking invisible orders. The elbow is very close to your shoulder blades drawing forward. Turn the head and then release. Follow the inhale back and follow the exhale forward. And then release. Same stuff, fist for what we call bow and arrow exercise. Right arm long, left elbow out, release. Follow the end into the stretch and follow the exhales, release. And 
and then we'll take it to the other side. Same thing. Left arm along, right arm along. Follow the movement with breath. And then slowly release. Good. And then open palms, bottom three fingers in, both index fingers to the right. Right index finger up. Imagine a rubber band between thumb and index finger. And then keep that right index finger up. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Follow the inhale into the stretch and the exhale to release. Slow, relaxed, controlled movement. And then we'll change direction. And then slowly. And then we will sit back in our chair so we can do some movement with the arms and legs, what I call splashing. So freeing up the legs and arms, warming them up. Good, and then through a relaxed leg, we'll rotate arms and legs in and out. And then we'll wave hands and feet. Keeping that relaxed leg. And then we'll circulate hands and feet. And circulate hands and feet. And then slowly release. Good. And then we'll come up toward the front of our chair again and do some more exercises through the arms and shoulders. So keeping the left arm down, raise the right hand up, spread fingers, palm up. And we'll stretch the arm back and release. Follow the inhale back and the exhale to release. And then release. And then we'll do the other side. And then release. And then we'll take a hold of left. Right hand to the back of the head. Keep the spine long so that we can stretch the back and release. Keeping both feet on the ground. And then we'll change. And then release. And then we're going to interlace the fingers, rest in the hand, and then we'll do our side stretch here. So follow the exhale over to the left, inhale back up. 
again, the weight of the torso, just like we had the weight of the head before. So creating that relaxed stretch. And we'll take it to the other side. And then slowly release. Good. And then we'll do some work with the waist and the Fine, so take the feet wide, relax. And coming across, forward, across, and up. So I like to follow the exhale out here and the inhale up. And then easily in the other direction. And then release. And then bring the feet up. And we're going to move over to the right side of my foot. Again, setting up the head so we can turn toward the back, holding on to the back. And then as we're twisting to the right, we're going to push with the right and pull with the left to create a twist, staying upright and relaxing. And slowly release. And we'll take it over to the other side. Again, at the edge of your chair, comfortably upright. So this time we're pulling with the right, pushing with the left. And then release. All right, then we're going to come out of the chair. So we're going to do the three-part methodology. We'll come forward three times, just stretching our back forward, still remaining in the chair. Second part, we're going to come a couple inches off the chair and then slowly come back down. Third time, we'll come out of the chair, come back, sit down, come out of the chair, come back, sit down. So it's good work for your thighs, your legs, and your back. All right, so make sure you're in the correct position, feet parallel. Knees over ankles, body relaxed. On the inhale, we'll stretch the body and arms forward. And on the exhale, release. We'll do it again. Do that one more time. Good. This time we're going to come forward slightly up so we can control coming back down. And you forward. Slightly up so we can come back down and control. And again. Good. So this time we're going to go all the way up, which will entail coming forward on the inhale and then lifting the body and arms above the head on the inhale. And then releasing, walking back so you can touch the chair. Once again, we'll inhale and go forward. And on the exhale, slowly come down. And we'll take time to make our way toward the front of the chair. We'll do that again. Again, inhale. And on the exhale, slowly down. We'll do that one more 
And then coming back to our chair. Once you're touching. And then make your way to the chair. Then we'll do some work with core strength legs. So we're gonna bend the knee and on the exhale, take it up to the chest or shoulder and on the inhale, release. And, and we'll do the other side. Yeah, interlace the fingers. Yeah, we bring it up. Inhale to release. And then also give a nice stretch to the glute and the leg and the back. And. Then, Second part, bring the leg up, bring the hand in front, and then on the exhale, take it out on the inhale, back to the side. And then slowly release. And then left side. And then, and then a little bit more core strength and also good for the hamstrings. So nice and easy on the exhale, find some extension on the inhale release. And then we'll stay in extension there. Keep lifting the body, keep drawing out the needle. Keep relaxing your shoulders. And the same thing on the other side. Stretch and release. Exhale. And then extend it up. And then we're going to work through the groin and the hips. So cradling it up, leg and foot. And then we'll make sure the leg is crossed and the ankle is not experiencing any stress. Flex the toes, sit tall, and then begin to fold. And then we'll come up, take the hold of the quarter toe and extend it out. Again, good for the core, good for the stretch. And then we're going to bend the knees slightly so you can take the outside edge of the foot with the opposite hand, rest the hand on the chair, and twist. And then slowly release. And over to the other side. Come up with a stretch, cradling. Cross. 
pausing it over again, make sure it's leg, a half a joint that's out of the other leg. Flex the toes, the tall, and then start to fold. And then release, knee to toe or foot to extend. And we'll bend the knee slightly so we can take the opposite the outside edge or on the chair and twist. And then slowly release. And then we'll take the feet to the floor. We're going to keep the knees slightly bent as we fold forward. So lengthening this spine. And then we'll walk those hands back up. Good. And then we'll do that three part methodology. We'll just do one. Two, slightly out of the chair, three, all the way out of the chair. So, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And on the exhale. Good, and then we'll make sure we walk slightly away from the chair. Good. And then either with our arms down or with our arms up, we're going to work up. So lift the heels and then release. Lift the heels and release. All the inhale, all the exhale. And then release. And then we're going to do our side to side movement. First, we're just going to tap lower back, sacrum, opposite shoulder. Keeping the feet steady. We're loosening up waist and arms. And then we'll free up the opposite ankle and heel. So we'll just pivot in. Not too dissimilar to a golf swing. Actually, this is a really good exercise if you're a golfer. So we're keeping the shoulders and hips level and doing that pivot up. So freeing up the hips as well. Good. And then release. And then we're going to circulate the hips, keeping the head up. So the knees stay slightly bent as we stretch across. And then we'll do that in the other direction. And then release. And then we'll make sure we bring our feet close together, our knees together, bend the knees, take the hands to the top of the thighs, and then slowly rotate around. And then we'll rotate in the other direction. And then slowly release. And we'll take time to step in again. We're going to shift. We're going to bring the right foot back, lift the heel, and then rotate around on the ball of the foot. So most of the weight is on the left leg, so freeze up the right. And we'll do that in both directions. Good. 
And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Bring the foot back. Rotate around. And we'll do that in the other direction as well. And then we'll slowly release. And then we're going to move over to the right side of the chair. <laughs> Just in case we need it. Move your arm resting on the chair, the side of the chair, or by your side. Start on to the left, lift the right leg up. And then we'll keep that leg up, shake it out. Again, if you need the chair to stay, just don't lean on it. So trust that you're stable in your leg. And then we'll go forward and back. Good. And then we're going to lift the leg up and just keep it there. So stable. And then we're going to bring the leg out to the side. We can counterbalance either with the arm on the chair or the hand up in the air. So strengthen stamina as well. And then we're going to bring the foot either into the calf below the knee or the thigh above the knee and rest it there. And then we can bring that other arm up. Finding balance, so opening up the hips. And then release the arm, release the leg. And then we'll walk to the other side of the chair. And again, if you need to utilize the chair, it's there. If you're okay with your hand, arm near the chair, feeling strong and confident. Move my phone here so we could bring it off to the side. And then once it's there, we'll shake out that leg, loosening up the hip, giving some much needed lubrication. And the same thing with the knee. And then we'll bring the knee up. We'll bring it out to the side, hands in the chair, counterbalancing. So balance, strength, and stamina. And then again, resting foot on the inside, pressing foot against leg, opening up that knee, that hip. And then slowly release. Good. Now I'm going to show this couple sides. You don't have to move your chair. Okay? So I'm going to be standing here in front of my chair and about a foot away. And then I'm going to cross the right leg over the left. And it's going to work on those IT bands. So keep the knees in, take your hands to the chair, and then start to fold. So your hands could rest there, your body could rest down. Let your head go. And then pressing into the chair, slowly come up and release. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, feet close together, left across right, and the knees start to fold. And then slowly release. 
And then we're going to take our chair to the wall. Once it's against the wall and secure, we're going to bring our hands down. Shoulder distance apart, walk your feet back, hip width distance apart. Make sure your heels go back and then hit, or hips go back to the heels and then stretch it back with a slight shift from side to side. Now you're breathing and stretching. And then we're just gonna relax back. And then slowly walk your feet forward, bend the knees, and roll up through that spine. And then we our chair on hand again. So I'll demonstrate what we're going to do with the movement without the chair, and then I'll show it with the chair. Okay, so the chair is on the side. So it's going to be basically bring your feet in with distance apart. So a natural standing position for the body. We're going to bend our knees, pull the hips back, make sure the lower back is relaxed, glutes are relaxed, shoulders are resting, pull the hips, and then we're going to do our shift over to the right and come back to the center, and then over to the left and come back to the center. And then we're going to, on the inhale, turn slightly to the right, exhale to the center. Inhale slightly to the left. So we're shifting and turning. And of course, we're looking in that direction. And at first, we're just keeping both feet on the ground. And then we're going to come over to the right, just bend the left knee and lift up the left to the center. Over to the left, bend the right knee, lift up. And then as we go over, we're going to lift that leg up for balance and then release. Lift the leg up for balance and then release. The same thing, utilizing the chair. First, resting both hands on it. And then as we go over to the right, release the right hand. And then as we go over to the left, release the left hand. So shifting and turning. Again, if we need that support, we're not leaning into the chair. So we lift the heel on the left and lift the heel on the right. And then you can lift the foot on the left and lift the foot on the right. Good. And then we're going to work our way around the chair. So we're going to work our way in a position around the chair. I'm going to go back to see the full chair. I'm going to show it somewhere else. So we're going to come over to the right. Lift the left foot up and bring it in slightly. Over to the left, lift the right foot up and bring it out slightly. Over to the right, lift the left foot up, bring it out slightly. Over to the left, right foot up. And then we're going to eventually clear the chair. And then as we move over to the right, we're going to bend the left knee and bring the foot forward. We move over to the left and bend the right knee and bring the foot forward. And the same thing over and bring the foot forward. And then left and bring the foot forward. Good. Now we're in front of our chair. Now we're going to move over to the right, bring the left foot out. Over to the left, bring the right foot in. So the same methodology, but moving across. So spatial orientation. And imagining if you have to move around something, which oftentimes we do. 
And then as soon as we clear the chair, we move over to the left so we can step the right foot back, make sure the toes heel comes down and come over. And then move over to move the left foot back. And then the same thing, move the right foot back, we need the chair is there, move the left foot back. And then as soon as we clear the chair, we'll come over to the right and bring the left foot in, come over to the left and bring the right foot out. Until we come back to the chair itself. <laughs> some movement in with freestanding. And I think we've done this before, okay? But uh, if we haven't, I'm gonna show you without the chair first and I'll show you with the chair. So we're gonna bend our knees and then we're gonna move our hands and body back toward the heels on the inhale. And on the exhale, release to the spine. We'll do that again, toward the heels and then back toward the center. The inhale. And the exhale. And the inhale. And the exhale. And then we'll add another movement to it. So on the inhale, back toward the heels. Exhale to the center. Inhale forward toward the toes and balls of the feet. And exhale back to the center. Inhale, hands and body move back. Exhale to the center. Inhale, hands and body move forward slightly. And exhale back to the center. Inhaling and exhaling. And inhaling and exhaling. Good, we're going to add one other movement to this. So, three part movement. Inhale back toward your heels. Exhale to the center. Inhale toward the toes. Exhale back to the center. Inhale back toward the heels. Exhale back to the center. Inhale toward the toes, balls of feet, move stretch forward as you move those hips back and then back to the center. And then we'll continue. Inhaling toward the heels, exhaling toward the center. Inhaling toward the balls and toes, lean and tilt, exhale back to the center. So fine tuning your balance. Inhale back toward the heels, exhale to the center. Inhale toward your feet, lean and tilt, and then exhale back to the center. Good. And then we utilize the chair in that same positioning. I'm going to show you positioning the chair here. So I'm going to have my hands on my chair and I'm going to step away until I feel that my shoulders are above my hips and my arms are long. And then I'm going to release. Okay. So from here, I'm going to bring my hands to the chair again. Inhale, body back toward the heels. Exhale, release. Inhale, body forward toward the toes. Exhale, release. Inhale, back toward the heels. Exhale, release. Inhale, forward to the toes. Exhale, release. And then we'll do that lean and tilt. Inhale, back. Exhale, release. Inhale, forward, lean and tilt, sending those hips back. And then release to the center. Inhale toward those heels. Exhale to the center. Inhale forward, lean and tilt again. We're not pressing into the chair. We're just utilizing the fingers slightly on it. One more time back. One more time forward. One more time to lean and tilt. And one more time forward. And then we're gonna make our way over to the side again. I'm going to go one side so we can release to the even side step. And now we're going to do an exercise where I'm going to utilize the chair slightly. And I'm also going to show you a freestyle. So we're going to use that same methodology. So watch first. I'm going to inhale back toward the heel. I'm going to exhale, release to the center. Now, I'm going to go forward, inhale, toward there, and then step with my arms coming up. And then I'll release the foot forward, okay? If I were utilizing the chair, I would do the same methodology here. 
and make sure that I can sit back with my fingers extending forward, really inhale back toward the heels, exhale, release the stack. Inhale, lean and tilt, and then exhale, one hand on the chair when I step that foot forward. Okay. So we're going to do it on the right side, then we're going to do it on the left side. And then we'll do it free of the chair, and then we'll do some cool downs. Okay? So I know it's a lot today, but it's a beautiful day to be exercising. Thank you for joining with me. So, so inhale back toward the heel. Exhale to release. Inhale, lean, tilt, step the right foot forward, and then release. And then we'll walk it back. So we'll do that again. Inhale, lean, or inhale, come back toward the heels. Exhale to release. Inhale, forward to lean and tilt. Left foot forward, arm up, and then exhale. Lean. And then drop the chair. Again. Inhale toward the heels. Exhale, release. Inhale, lean and tilt. Arms up with the step. And then exhale to release. Third one, inhale back toward the heels, exhale to release, inhale lean and tilt, left foot forward, and exhale to release. Let's do that one more time each side. Inhaling back toward the heels, exhale to release, inhale lean and tilt, come up, and then exhale to release. Inhale back toward your heels. Exhale to release. Inhale, lean tilt left. Exhale to release. And then we'll do our shifting to the chair again. And then we're going to do that methodology that we did before. Once we're touching the chair. Mm -hmm. And let's do our cool down exercise. So we'll come back toward the chair. So we're fully on the chair. We're going to make sure that the hips are resting toward the back, but the upper body is free of the chair. And then we're going to close our eyes. Good. We're going to start to rest the hips and shoulders, feet and legs, arms, keeping the head up. Close your eyes, relax your face and jaw. Part your lips, wet them with the tongue, and swallow. And then if you're breathing in and out through your nostrils, notice the breath coming in through the nostrils, coming out through the nostrils. And if you're breathing differently because of any situation, then just feel that breath. Relax and feel resting breath rising and falling. And bring your awareness to the space of the head. Allow it to relax, become very clear and rested. As if each breath were revitalizing that space. Opening it on the inhale and clearing it on the exhale. And then we'll bring our awareness to the throat. Feel the inhale opening into that space of throat. The exhale releasing as if you're clearing that passageway of speech, of how you speak and communicate. Revitalizing that space. And awareness to the chest, lungs, heart. Feel the breath expanding into that space and the breath releasing from that space, clearing and cleansing. And then finally into the belly of the navel. Feel the breath moving into that space. And now we have that nice, relaxed, full diaphragmatic breath. 
full body left. Imagining the entire body and mind revitalizing, restoring centering. Just get a sense of quality of mind and body and breath right now after the work you put in to the space today. Again, each breath allowing health and well being, restoring and nurturing. Good, and we'll slowly open our eyes. Thank you so much for coming out. Please do let your friends know about the class. Any feedback is welcome. And uh, I also do the Qigong and Taiji class on Thursdays at 2 and on Mondays at 3. So uh, have yourself a great day and easy rest of the week. Enjoy this beautiful summer. And thank you so much for attending.